Whether you provide services, sell products, or both, Cybermatrix Point of Sale can help you manage your retail sales operation. Let's start now by adding a product. Products are added in the Data Manager. Products can be added in Detail View or Form View. We'll use Form View since it's easier. To add a new record, click the plus button at the top of the screen. Notice that when you add a new record, all the fields become blank. Now we just type in all the information relating to the new product. The product ID field is a unique code for this product. Save time by using your barcode scanner to scan in all the UPC codes. To save the record, press the check mark button on the toolbar. Now let's enter a quick sale. Quick sales are just normal sales that don't require a work order and a separate pickup at a later time. Items can be scanned in using your barcode scanner. The PLU for the item can also be typed in. After scanning or tabbing out of the item column, the UPC code or PLU number will be converted to the ID of the product. When you've finished entering the sale, you must print out the receipt. This will also save the sale to the database and open the cash drawer. Let's do a refund. Before you can do a refund, you must enter the invoice number of the sale you wish to refund. Now let's do a work order. The first step is to enter the customer's phone number. If the phone number exists, you can choose the customer's name from the customer pull-down list or enter a new name for the phone number. In this case, this is a new customer, so we have to enter their name. You can optionally enter the day and the time the work must be done by. Sale items are entered just as when making a quick sale. You can enter open-ended items by typing the open PLU code. In our case, 24 is our open PLU code. For open items, you must enter a description of the item and price. You must print the work order to save it. The Work in Progress screen shows all the work orders that have not yet been picked up. Let's assume that the customer has arrived to pick up the work order we just entered. After entering the work order number and tabbing out, the work order details will be shown below. Now let's do a touch sale. A touch sale can be used with any touch screen device. First we click the product category, then the products, enter the quantity, when we're done we enter the payment type, in this case cash, enter the cash entered, click the pay button again and to complete the sale. Reports show you information about the sales made, inventory status, and employee time. There are three different types of reports. Click the plus sign to expand the report list. The cash count screen allows you to tally up all the cash in the cash drawer.
The end of day screen lets you reconcile sales amounts from the system with your credit card receipts. The end of week screen gives you the sales totals for the week. Employee hours can be entered in the hours worked screen. The punch in out screen allows you to keep track of when your employees start and end work. Program options can be changed in the configuration screen.